Hi guys, this is Sean with SNS Serpentarium. So, your snake's eyes are blue, what's wrong? Well, your snake is in shed, guys, okay? You may also notice that the belly is slightly pink in colour, yeah? Um, it may also become a little bit stroppy, and it's because the snake is actually in shed. And when a snake is in shed, it can't actually see properly. It's a very stressful time for the animal. So what you need to do to properly care for it when it's in shed, for one thing, if it's stroppy, just leave it alone, okay? Don't, don't bother her. This girl is lovely and calm when she's in shed. She's always like it. She doesn't mind, all right? So that's why I've got her out for this video. Um, another thing is you can't expect your snake to go off feed when it's in shed, 100%. Um, very few of my snakes actually do feed when they're in shed, to be totally honest. Um, to the point where most of the times I don't, I don't even bother offering when they're in shed. But that's the kind of thing you learn as you go along, okay? Um, this girl here, she's, uh, she's on a fast anyway, even though she's looking lovely and chunky. She's hit what's known as the thousand gram wall. But um, I'm hoping she'll get on the food soon. She's uh, She's been a thousand grams since December. She hasn't lost any weight or put on any weight at all. But she's looking absolutely pucker when she's uh, when she's fully shed out anyway, that is. But anyway, back to the topic. What you need to do when your snake is in shed is uh, offer a humid hide if possible, okay? What you can do is uh, an old tin or something like that, fill it up with moss, cut a big hole in it, and the snake will go in there. It's nice and humid and warm, and that'll help sort of uh, gather water into the skin, and it'll help once the snake needs to pull the, the old skin off, it'll help uh, get it all off in one nice piece. And you can keep that, uh, some people keep it. I choose to not, because I have so many snakes, it's just another thing to me. Um, but uh, once the snake has shared out, offer the food as normal and give it a little look over. And if you see any flakes of stuck shed, okay, just give it, well, keep offering a humidity hide, that should help. But if it's really bad stuck shed, then what you need to do is off, put, put it in a tub with holes in the top, okay? Fill it up to about, about half of the snake's uh, body width so like if with this snake I'd fill it up to about here okay with with water to about 86 degrees Fahrenheit so it's nice and warm the snake isn't gonna get cold do not use cold water that you're asking for a respiratory infection in that case okay and then what will happen is the snake will soak leave it for about half hour to an hour when you pull it out the shed should just come off nicely okay um if you've got stuck eye caps with your snake, what you can do is you can use a toothbrush or a cotton bud and lightly, lightly brush on the snake. You don't need to go too mad, just lightly, just sort of tickle it off, all right? If the snake is upset, just leave it alone, leave it soak, and it'll get it off on its own. If the problem persists, then you need to get it to a vet because a stuck eye cap can actually cause blindness. All right. You can also get stuck shed on the end of the tail, on the very tip of the tail. Um, again, that's normally easy. You can normally just pull that off really in one piece. But if it stays on there, guys, then the tip of the tail can actually fall off. Um, a lot of people don't, don't actually realize that. Another problem area is the cloaca there. You can get a little little piece of stuck shed in there, all right? Um, if you get a piece of stuck shed in there, again, just, just offer it a nice humid hide. Maybe give it a soak in, in lukewarm water to the temperature I earlier said. And uh, it should come off. But uh, the rest of the snake, really, normally the shed just comes off nicely. But... If it doesn't, at least you know how to deal with the problem now. All right, thanks guys. Cheers for watching. And uh, if you made it this far, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.